tell me about this, Brianna. Um, I chopped off the corners of this because they're not really doing anything structurally. And they were hitting this, preventing me from machining the whole thing at once. Uh, so I figured it would save a lot of time and make it more accurate machining-wise if I chopped them off. Not my best torching, but it's not bad. Um, so now I'm just going to grind down these a little more because it's still not enough. And that fits again, so, so describe this. What's, what's that making an adjustment for? Um, that's adjusting for the blade gaps. Mm -hmm. So we okay. can get the, uh, the right blade gaps, which makes for that really clean cut that we saw in that other piece. Um, basically, I think what happened with this blade is since it needs grease because it's moving, it's got a relatively large space between the blade and the backing and the front plate. So uh, even though I machined it so there should be 10 thousandths gap, theoretically, the, that gap was taken up by the space that the grease takes up. So uh, right now I'm just machining this further down. How much are you taking off? I'm going to take off 7 thousandths here and then 3 thousandths here. And this dial here is in the gradations of? Thousandths for the big. On the, so on this one, that's tenths? Is that tenths? Yeah. Or? Yeah, but that's not too accurate because the blade wears as you go. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the accuracy for, for a few passes? I don't know, a few passes are okay if you're going back and forth because then it kind of compensates for the wear from what I understand. Uh, if you're just doing one pass, like for example, you start on this side, this side's going to be far less machined by like a thousand or so from what I've seen because the blade gets worn. How's it different when you go back and forth? Huh? How's it different when you well, go back and forth? Well, so say I go across here and then I lower it by one thousandth or whatever and then I go across again. That'll pretty much even it out because it's kind of like this, and then if you take out this side, it'll pretty much even it out for the whole thing. So the technique is, yeah, you're assuming that the blade, that the grinding wheel is going to get worn out, so you lower it, and then you get it perfectly straight, perfectly. Yeah, I don't know really how to get it perfectly Something straight. like this. I've there's never technique done this here. Until three days ago. Well, yeah, there's technique here, but we'll figure it out as we build the world's open source village. <laughs>